In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, brothers, and sisters, fellow pilgrims, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in, in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul, into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet and on her head, a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert for she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen takes her place at your right hand in gold of all fear. The queen stands at her right hand arrayed in gold. Hear, O daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. The queen stands at her right hand arrayed in gold. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your Lord. The queen stands at her right hand arrayed in gold. They are born in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace 
of the king. The queen stands at her right hand arrayed in gold. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the firstfruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. is taken up to heaven, a chorus of angels exalts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that, that, that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. Friends, sisters, and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today, as we celebrate the solemnity of her holy assumption to heaven. At the end of her earthly life, Mary was taken in soul and body to heaven 
that is to the glory of eternal life in God. Alam niyo yung assumption ay isa sa mga misteryo ng Santo Rosario. At kahit na anong paliwanag natin ay hindi mauubos maisip ng ating limited minds kung anong ibig sabihin talaga ng assumption. Well, we can compare it to the Lord's ascension, but remember, ascension and assumption are, are, not, are two different things because in the ascension of Jesus, He did it by His own power. But in the case of Mary, when we say assumption, it was not because of her own power. She was taken up to heaven, body and soul. So iisipin natin, Father, ano yung body and soul? Katawan natin ito o the glorified body? Hindi natin alam. Saan nga ba ang langit? Maari itatanong din natin yan sa ating pag-intindi at sa pag-unawa ng ibig sabihin ng assumption sa araw na ito. Heaven is actually not just a place the way that we know a place is. Halimbawa, manawag. Pupunta tayo sa manawag, alam natin kung nasaan. That is a place. But when we say it is heaven, it is more of an encounter with God face to face. Diba? So where it is, we really cannot know fully at this time when we are still in this world. Kagaya rin kapag ka tayo ay merong namamatay na uh, mahal sa buhay. Diba they continue to exist in our memories in a certain fashion uh, especially for those who knew that person in life. Buhay ang kanilang alaala sa ating isipan. Naalala natin yung kanilang ginawa sa atin, yung kanilang mga sinabi, yung kanilang mga inasal habang sila ay nabubuhay sa mundo. But though they want, however they want that kind of life or memory to exist, they cannot keep him or that person really alive the way we see our one another now physically. But God's love is the very reason that we exist in this world, in this time, at this place. We exist only because He has loved us from eternity. Again, sasabihin natin, ano bang ibig sabihin, Father, ng eternity? Sapagkat ang alam lamang natin ay oras, time. No? Hindi naghihintay ang oras kahit kanino. But there is such a thing as eternity. Sasabihin ng mga kabataan, wala namang forever, meron. There is such a thing as forever. Not in this world. Kasi ang mga relationship, ang mga love life ay nawawala at natatapos. Pero ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin ay hindi natatapos. Walang katapusan. E ano ba ibig sabihin ng eternity? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng immortality? Walang hanggang buhay. Yung tinatawag nating original sin of Adam and Eve meant a turning away from this love. Kaya nga every time, every time we celebrate the assumption, kasama yan sapagkat ang, pang, ang mahal na birhen ay exempted sa effects ng original sin. And that is very unique to our Blessed Mother. Sapagkat siya ay magiging ina ng Diyos, hindi siya pwedeng bahiran ng kahit anumang kasalanan. That is very unique to her. E tayo, we were. Kaya nga tayo, uh, bina that is the reason why we receive the sacrament of baptism to remove uh, original sin from our existence. The human race would have but a shadowy existence, parang anino, returning nearly to nothingness kung hindi tayo sinusuportahan ng Panginoon sa kanyang kabutihan. Yet God in His mercy and love sent His Son and came to renew that communion and friendship. By the Lord's death and resurrection, He broke the bonds of death and renewed man's friendship with God. We were made sharers in the mystery of His death and resurrection, and therefore we also share in His victory over sin and death. Meron tayong kapangyarihan uh, sa ibabaw ng kasalanan at kamatayan. Already now, we are incorporated in Christ through grace, biyaya, gracia, at mga sakramento tulad ng binyag. Through faith and charity, pananalig, pag-ibig, we share in Christ's resurrection. And in a way, potentially, we possess, potentially, eternal life. 
meron na tayong mana kung tutuusin as long as we are going to be faithful to that faith. Meron tayong tinatawag na pinanghahawakang uh, promise o pangako. Anong sabi ng Panginoon sa scriptures? He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood, kagaya sa Eucharist, sa communion ating tatanggapin mamaya. Kung sino man ang kumakain ng aking katawan at dugo has eternal life. Eternal life. And though subject to weakness of body and to death, we hope to share in this life also in our bodies. Diba sabi ng Panginoon kay John, and I will raise him up on the last day. Tayong lahat yon. Meron tayong pangako, meron tayong pinanghahawakang promise sa Panginoon. The Lord is going to raise us all up on the last day. That was advanced as far as the experience of our, our, our mother is concerned. Kaya nga, she was assumed into heaven. And we see the fulfillment of this saving mystery at yung ating uh, pag-asa in a special way kay Maria. Ano ba yung assumption? Maaring palagi natin itatanong yan sa ating mga sarili. If Mary was assumed into heaven, pwede ba tayong ganun din ang mangyari sa atin pagdating ng panahon? Of course, she was chosen to be the mother of God and she is so closely united to Christ that already at the end of her earthly life, she shares fully in the resurrection of her son. In body and soul, katawan at kaluluwa. She lives now what we profess in the creed. O mamaya, i-recite natin yung creed, di ba? Makikita natin doon kung ano yung ating pinapaniwalaan. Mary sharing in Christ's definitive victory over death crowns her faith in the Word of God. Naniwala siya, narinig niya ang salita ng Diyos. Naniwala siya na mangyayari yun. Di ba yun ang sinabi din ni Elizabeth sa ating binasang Ibanghelyo? Blessed is she who believed that everything that the Lord said will be fulfilled. Sa atin din, di ba tayong mga nagpupunta dito sa manawag, nagtidibusyon, or namamanata, kaya nga ang birhin ng manawag ay tinatawag na the virgin who falls. Hindi naman siguro naririnig natin yung kanyang boses, pero something attracts us to this place. Napakarami na pong testimony ang natatanggap namin, thanksgiving, prayers of thanksgiving, prayers of petition, but more so, ang thanksgiving at gratitude at pasasalamat sa mga biyayang kanilang natanggap. Why? Because they heard also the call of Mary, the mother, the virgin who calls. Sabi nga ni St. Augustine, before conceiving the Lord in her body, Mary had already conceived Him in her soul. And this grace was still greater than merely bodily motherhood, as Christ remarks in relation to the blessedness of His motherhood. Diba sabi rin ng Panginoon, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Iyon ang halimbawang iniwan sa atin ng Panginoon. Diba, ginrit siya ng anghel, you will be the mother of God. Hindi maintindihan din ng ating mahal na ina kung anong ibig sabihin nun sa annunciation. And yet, what did she say? Let it be done to me according to your word. Tayo rin na nagpunta dito sa Manawag, naririg natin ang invitation ng mother ni Mama Mary. Marami tayong bitbit, mga petitions, mga dalangin, mga panalangin, favors that we ask from, from Mother Mary for her intercession. Masasagot ba ang mga ito? Basta tayo may pananalig at merong pag-ibig sa ating puso, maririnig natin kung ano ang isasagot sa ating mga panalangin. At the same time, Mary shows us how we become blessed. Kahit hindi pa nga nasasagot ang ating mga dalangin at ating mga petition, we are already blessed. Why? Because we are here. We are blessed to the extent that we become dwelling places for the Lord, just like Mary, that we allow Him to live in us. We do this first through faith. Diba? To believe and to trust in God. Kasi kahit na tayo pumunta dito ng ilang beses, pero kung hindi naman tayo naniniwala, 
sa pangako ng Panginoon that it will be done according to His will. Walang mangyayari. In our gospel, narinig natin ang mahal na birhen ng kanyang gratitude, prayer of gratitude. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Sana ganun din ang ating maging panalangin pagkatapos ng ating pilgrimage dito sa Our Lady of Manawag. Sana whatever the answer may be to our prayers, let the prayer of Mary, the Magnificat, be also our prayer as we go back to where we came from. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. We now stand to profess our faith. Sabay-sabay po tayo at lakasan natin, ha? I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of, of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Raised body and soul to glory, our Mother Mary shines forth as a great sign of our et eternal future as the Church. As pilgrims still journeying towards the heavenly kingdom, let us now bring our prayers with her to God our Father. For each intention we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a Church, we may look forward to the resurrection promised by our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may become instruments of peace among nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may find unity around Mary, the lowly handmaid exalted to glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see hope in Mary's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may rise with Christ to rejoice with Our Lady and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Brothers and sisters, let us now pause for a few moments of meaningful silence to offer our own particular intentions. Marami po tayo ngayon sa araw na ito, sa oras na ito. Huwag lamang sarili natin ang ating ipagdasal, kundi mga intentions at mga prayer petitions din ng ating mga kasama sa pagmimisang ito. For all these intentions, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord of heaven and earth, our prayers come before you with the help of our glorious Mother, the first believer called to share in the glory of her triumphant Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, till become for us our bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God, we ask you to receive us. Please stand. Let us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sagot po kayo ng malakas ha? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your churches coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewful so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another Christ's sign of peace. Sa pong lahat, peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us grant peace. Us Please kneel. Dear friends, sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to receive Him. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you, that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, sisters and brothers, fellow pilgrims, thank you very much for being one with us today, the solemnity of Our, La of Our Lady's Assumption into Heaven. Please continue to pray for us and the work that is uh, given to us in this part of the Philippines, sa Pangasinan. And promise, we also promise to pray for all your intentions and for all your petitions in all our liturgical activities. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. At katulad ng pagbati ko sa inyo ng the Lord be with you, baka pwede rin natin pabauna ng ating mga katabi ng the Lord be with you. Pakisabi rin sa kanila ng the Lord be with you bago tayo magkahiwahiwalay. The Lord. 
And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We have offered the Eucharist. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward the sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.